It's the start of the new season, and the Roadrunners are taking part in the program's second media day. And on this media day, Heisman Talk is in the air. Mr. Hurricane, who has like, you know, a really popular YouTube channel, a lot of people follow him and like respect him. He's some sort of analyst, something like that. He uh he started a dynasty with UTSA football team. And I guess on now I'm the starter running back. And so he just, he's the one who really just started it. Like Okacha for Heisman, Okacha gets the ball. Uh, I mean, I, of course I would love the touches, but I just got to prove to coach that, you know what I'm saying? Like I can, I can do stuff with the ball. That's the only way I'm going to get it. And uh, that's the way it should be, really. Some UTSA fans are more accustomed to wearing high heels than turf shoes, and it's for these fans that the runners hold a special camp. It's UTSA's Football 101 Clinic for Women, and for these ladies it's an opportunity to set foot on the Alamo Dome field and learn the X's and O's from current coaches and players. Really looking forward to a fun evening. This is a new way to do this event for us, so we're looking forward to your feedback and, and hope you have a, a, a great time. There was a really uh, beautiful group of ladies that came in with me a while ago, and they got on high heels about this high. And so, Coach Coker, I want to see them run, uh, do some kind of special play or something. Anything that's orange good. Our players love. I don't know why, right, Tom? Everything. And is it orange? Yeah, yeah, it's orange. These guys are a lot like women. They love accessories. <laughs> they love accessories and shoes. That's all they love. <laughs> It's 48 hours prior to the Roadrunners' first game of the season, and the players are raring to go, but Mother Nature has other plans. Here's a close look at Isaac, by the way. You can see him spinning and spinning and spinning, and so close to the water, I don't think Isaac's going to weaken much over the next 12 hours. Look at guys, there's been, been a change. I don't know if you this, this weather thing in, uh, in Mobile. Uh, so we are going to play. It's going to be on Saturday, 1 o'clock. The game will be one o'clock on Saturday. So, and also they're well, they announced it now. So I was gonna say, don't go on Twitter and all that. But South Alabama is doing a press release at 10 o'clock this morning, so should be good on that. After an extended training camp and a delay brought on by Hurricane Isaac, the Roadrunners are finally off to Mobile for their rematch with South Alabama. Excited. Watching for two weeks now. We're ready on Tuesday. Got like role players, you know. It's a little change up right now, and we're all excited. We're getting focused. We're excited. And we are ready to get the 2012 UTSA football season underway at 108 in the afternoon in Mobile, Alabama. And here we go. From right to left, Ayano kicks it. And it will come deep into the end zone, out the back of the end zone. How about that for about a 70-yarder to start things for Sean Ayano? And the snap comes back to Bennett, and he'll throw to his left, and it's caught at the 29-yard line and wrapped up immediately. They're going to get a face mask, though, on Darian Starling as he tackled a little bit high. The reception made it to 28 after an 8-yard pickup, but they'll add 15 more to that. First down, quick hitter off the left side goes Baker. Back to the right, easy touchdown. He was barely touched, and South Alabama takes the lead. Just uh, under three minutes into the game on a draw play over the right tackle as Baker gets into the end zone for 
for USA. First and uh, from the 14-yard line, first and 10 here. The handoff is, is a fake to Houston. They'll throw towards the end zone. It's going to be intercepted by Tristan Wade, and UTSA's defense comes up with a huge, huge play right there. Put three wide receivers to the left, empty backfield with two to the right, and Eric Sosa is by himself in the shotgun. Four down linemen, and they show blitz from the right side. Here's a pass to Cam Jones. Makes the catch 45, breaks the tackle 50. In open field 40. He's to the 35. Left side 25. To the 15. A blocker to the 10. He's to the end zone. Touchdown, UTSA. 58 yards for Cam Jones. And Mr. Electric for UTSA gets on the board in the first quarter here with a big third down conversion and a big touchdown for the Roadrunners. Good job, boy. Come out of the end zone, 10 yard line, 15 20. Walk to the 30 yard line, a seam to the 40. He's like, fumbles the football at the 45. It's loose. UTSA is recovered at the 35 yard line. Marcellus Mack came down to get that one after what was a 50 yard return, and UTSA has come up with another turnover. an offset eye and straight back to pass is Sosa under pressure fires towards the end zone for Hicks he makes the catch touchdown UTSA Cole Hicks comes up with a reception and UTSA has taken the lead high formation look under center Bennett rolling to his right they throw to the end zone touchdown it was caught over on the far side of the end zone and it was Kendall Houston that gets the re- the reception for the touchdown for South Alabama to cut the lead to 20 to 13 with the extra point to come. Offset eye right, South Alabama shows blitz. Nate Leonard calls out the protection for there. They come with the blitz. Back to pass Sosa. UTSA picks up the blitz. Intercepted. 30 yard line, 20 yard line, down the left boundary inside the 10. And Eric Sosa that time never saw the defender. It was intercepted by Tyrell Pearson. Go for it on fourth and goal from the one foot line. Kendall Houston's the setback. They've got two backs beside him. They hand it to Houston. He walks in for a touchdown. South Alabama regains the lead. It's uh, 23 to 20 with the extra point to come here in the fourth quarter. Three wide receivers to the left and one to the right. UTSA is one, a five on third down conversion. Sosa over the middle, caught by Armstrong, midfield 50. He's to the 40 yard line. He's inside the 40 and down to the 38. And UTSA gets a huge first down right there. They move the ball to the 38 yard line with 153 to play. And this will set up a Sean Iano field goal from around 51 yards to try and win the game. But this one, you can't help but think back to last year when UTSA had the chance to win this game in regulation. And Sean Iano's field goal was blocked. Well, they put it at the 41, a 51-yard field goal attempt to win the game for UTSA, or at least give them the lead with 20 seconds to play. Here comes the snap back. Ayano's kick is on the way. It is good. Sean Ayano hits it from 51 yards, and UTSA has taken a 33-31 lead with 16 seconds to go in the game. Boy, he got a lot of leg behind that one, and even though we were kind of Holding our breath, that made it with plenty to spare. And Sean Ayano, one of the big stories here today. Ten seconds to play. He takes the snap. He's back to pass. He's under pressure. He gets away from one. Still running for his life. He shovels it off on the left side to Timmons. He's going to run out of bounds, and that's going to be the end of the game. And that is a UTSA winner on opening day for the second year in a row. And it's the first win in UTSA history on the road. Well, this was a really, really good win for us. I, I told our team after the game that we're now we're road warriors. We won, won one, one game on the road. But uh, I think the thing I'm really pleased about was the effort that our team gave. And, and again, they, we beat a good team today. In South Alabama, they fought, they fought as hard as we did. And uh, I think, again, it's a tough loss for them, certainly a great win for us. I'm really happy for Sean Iano last year. You know, the field goal block, which would, would, would have won the game for us last year. And, and certainly it wasn't his fault last year, but to hit the four field goals, I mean, that's pretty pretty special. Of course, it's really a good game. 
Sean, what did it feel like uh, at the end, uh, running over the sidelines and everybody mobbing you? It felt amazing. Uh, just to be able to, to show to my team and to everyone that uh, that I was ready for that kick and to come through for my teammates and uh, just finish off to all the hard work they put in the whole game. Sean, was there a yard line you're always trying to get to where you feel comfortable? Well, yeah, I, I told Eric uh, if we don't get a touchdown, I'll settle for the 35-yard line. Uh, almost there. <laughs> I think it's uh, it, it'll be. Uh, I think it really helped. This win will really, really, I think, spark interest in our student body and our, our crowd. And the thing, you know, my, my, my post-game speech, you know, that it, it really, you know, we were are very, very proud of our team. We're one and zero. I said, well, if we lost the game, guys, we're 0-1. We've got we got 11 more games, so we've got uh, we've got opportunity to really, you know, have a good season.